if you have not met somebody in your life who is of high value to you, they are coming in. We have the Empress and the Emperor, okay? Uh, <laughs> they're coming in soon. You are birthing this newness, this expansion coming in, okay? There's the Empress. Clarifying the Eight of Wands. This is happening now. You've had a lot of patience. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's finally knocking on your door, darling. Hi guys, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Marissa. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all, sending you all my love, light and sprinkles. Hopefully you're having the most fabulous day and if not, hopefully this message will help turn that around or give you insight growth. Remember, you are the creator of your reality. Don't ever give your power away to anybody, including myself. Okay, guys, I am going to do a reading for you. Let's get some uh, sagey going. Some sagey. I'm going to get some more sage. Okay. There we go. How have you guys been holding up? This energy has been heavy. This world energy is heavy. Guys, stay in that 5D energy, right? So anyways, I am here to give you a message today. Hopefully it resonates with you. Do not make it fit. Whatever is meant for you will always be for you. And uh, I'm doing my giveaway again. So if you guys are interested in winning a monthly reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. You have to comment and do all three. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and your name will be entered into a drawing every month. I do it at the end of the month. So uh, one lucky winner will win. I took some time off because the energy was so heavy and I wasn't feeling personal readings, but here we are. So uh, if you'd like to be a part of the giveaway, definitely subscribe, like, and comment down below. Let me know how this message resonated with you. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the message. Love, light, sprinkles. Gems! <laughs> good morning, good day, good evening, darlings. This is going to be for my Geminis. This will be your mid-monthly reading for August, Gems. I hope this message finds you well. I'm sending you all my love light sprinkles. If you're not a part of this collective or high vibe tribe, uh, subscribe and hit that bell right now because you are missing out. Let me just tell you, you really are. This is, this is it. Mm. I'll let you find out for yourself. But anyways, Jims, what do you need to know? Let's get right to it. Let me know if you like the pick up aisles. I had someone complain, but I'd like to know if you like it. The majority of my gems. <laughs> I can't do a Gemini reading and not think of Jims, that 80s cartoon. I know I say it all the time with the girls who were like rock stars that were jamming out. Yes, I know I am dating myself. Those were the good old days, baby. The good old days. I love the time that I was born and brought up in. Yeah, it was dope. It was fire. Everything was cool. Everything was cool. Water beds. Did you have a water bed? Oh my God, I love my water bed. Even when I woke up and it had punctured. <laughs> that was, that happened a few times. <laughs> All right, Jim, there's something going on where you're gonna have choices or you're feeling confused about options. So I don't know, ooh, some beautiful cards, gems. You are feeling yourself in the mid month of August. Man, oh man. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of decisions and choices ahead of you. Let me show you what's happening over here. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Emperor and the Sun, darlings. So, gems, you are really gonna be in this very, uh, <laughs> leadership type role, very strong kind of energy with this Aries, with the emperor here. We also have Leo and we're in Leo season with the sun. Uh, also we have the 888 portal coming up. So we have that energy as well, but you're just feeling really grounded. You're feeling really in control. You're feeling um, very much at peace. You're in, if you're not feeling this now, you will be. With this ember showing up here though, this is this is you taking the, the bull by the horns, right? This is like, you've done a lot of work to get to this level. You're sit backing, look at him. He's sitting back, he's relaxing and enjoying the fruits of his labor. That's something that um, 
Wow. That's something, gems, that you have to look forward to. You get to enjoy the fruits of your labor for something. It's almost like, gems, I feel like some of you guys may be getting a break. Uh, some of you guys may be taking some time. Hmm. I don't know. I'll get clarity on that, but you're going to be feeling really damn good with the sun here. This Leo energy is all about happiness. It's the happiest card of the deck. It's all about illumination. You're just like glowing. I have goosebumps right now. You are glowing, Geminis. There is something here that has made you so happy. And maybe it is all these choices that you have presented for you because I feel like you have multiple things that you can choose and do and there is no limit. There's no limit. And it's like, you got to sit back. <laughs> for some of you, gems, this could be like, I'm just going to say the first thing that came to mind. This could be women. Like you have a lot of options if you're single. There's a lot of different choices um, because you are the emperor. You're attracting a certain kind of energy. You're also illuminating with the sun, right? The sun is what um, keeps things alive. It's vibrant. It's this it's this loud kind of energy, but it's a renewal and it's a birth and it's it's beautiful. And so you're attracting, whether it's male or female, you're attracting... Uh, you're attracting the opposite sex or asex, however you want to say it. Um, you're attracting people into your energy. You're going to have a lot of options if you're looking for that. And if you're single and looking for, you know, maybe perhaps love, uh, it's definitely showing up here. Also, you're going to have options when it comes to business and things on how you want to move, how you want to do things, uh, moving forward with whatever you do for resources. What else do my gems need to know? Geminis, this is your mid-August reading. Uh, I am doing my giveaway, so if you want to be a part of the High Vibe Tribe, you definitely have to subscribe. But if you want to be a part of my free monthly giveaway, I give out a reading every month. I've started it over again. You have to be a subscriber. You have to comment on the video you watched. And you have to give me a thumbs up, darling. All three things need to be done in order for your name to be entered into the drawing at the end of the month. I'll do the drawing the first day of the month and I will contact you if you'll win a winner chicken dinner. All right, let's focus gems. What do you need to know? Gemini's, what do Gemini's need to know for August? Please and thank you spirit so much. <laughs> You're just in this energy, Geminis. Wow, so much major arcana. You are really on fire. Uh, we had the full card that came out, but you are really in this energy of, <laughs> of adventure. I told you some of you guys may be going somewhere. Some of you guys may be traveling, going on a last minute vacation, choosing where you're gonna go. It's something like that, but there, it, the fool is a venture energy, right? The fool is like a whole new beginning. It's the, it's the very first card in the major arcana. It's the card of zero. And this fool card, he has already taken the leap and it's paying off. That you look at the dog, he's already in this deck, there's two fools. He has already leaped off this ledge. He's taken that leap of faith. And because you took that leap of faith, you have a lot of options in front of you that are going to be presented to you in mid-August. Mid <laughs> Huge goosebumps all over my body. <laughs> and it's coming in quickly, darlings. If you're not feeling like the emperor and very happy right now, let me just tell you, if you're aligned here and if you've done the work, because let's be real, people need to do a lot of work to access this energy. I mean, you just do. So if you're one of those, know that this oh my god gems oh this is this is an amazing reading holy moly macaroni <laughs> okay we have the eight of wands uh what is that darlings it is forward momentum with the emperor like you're gonna move forward if you're not feeling like you're ruling the roost right now if you're not feeling like you're large and in charge baby it is about to happen okay it's kind it, the the energy is propelling you into that space and place, okay? It just is, it's happening. And it's because you took a chance on something. What did you take a chance on? I'd like to know down below. Definitely comment and let me know. Uh, it's opening up these doors. It's opening up, <laughs> it's opening up this brand new cycle. 
with the world card here. And you're just sitting back like, I am attracting, 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 darling. <laughs> I'm being way too extra today. <laughs> you are, you're attracting. The wheel of fortune is under the sun, okay? This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I'm not sophisticated to have more than one camera. Sorry, we're not doing that over here. <laughs> All right, so the Wheel of Fortune, a completion. We have a beginning and an ending. And really, it's the beginning of this whole new cycle. One cycle is ended, this other cycle is beginning. You were the fool, you took a chance, forward momentum is coming your way, and now the wheel is turning. <laughs> as the wheel turns something like that like the wheel is turning the wheel's spinning what is that um where who is that who makes like hay and the gold and spins is it rumpelstiltskin i i keep seeing a wheel like hay but it's spinning into gold like whatever you took a chance on it's turning into gold not gold literally but gold like as in resources gold as in um status huh that's a new one okay gems gems this is beautiful let's get some different energy gems what clarify the seven of cups these options coming to my gemini's and this high vibed energy gems uh congratulations seriously this is beautiful beautiful darlings what is this then oh it's the nine of coins, darling. This, this is something you did on your own. This is an individual person who has worked really hard. Like I said, I mean, I don't say things by accident. This message is for Geminis who have put in work. And what do I mean by that? I mean, they've done a lot of healing. They've done a lot of soul searching. They definitely are evolving. They're part of the 5D, not the 3D mess that's happening right now. You get me? Okay, I hope you do. Anyway, this is somebody who's been really diligent. Diligent, and I feel like it's really working on yourself, but also it's resources, because we have the, the Nine of Pentacles here. You've done this, you've done a really good job at something. <laughs> you, it may not have shown yet, but it's about to. It's about to knock your socks off. <laughs> okay, clarify the Emperor here, please, and thank you. And you've done this on your own. Like it wasn't, it wasn't forced. Nobody helped you. You did, you took this chance all by myself. Ooh. <laughs> no, I can't say, I know. <laughs> temperance, this has taken a lot of time and patience. Temperance is all about patience. We have, a, with the major arcana, temperance is clarifying the emperor. It's taken a long time for you get to, to get to the throne, baby, to sit in the seat, to have your crown placed in the, it, it has taken some time for you to get to this level. This has not been an easy journey for my Geminis. It is coming, baby. It is coming. Continue staying patient because this is your mid-October, so I'm just saying. Okay, clarify the sun for my Geminis, please, and thank you. I like this deck. I don't use it that often. Oh, the sun has come out tomorrow because you have left a rough situ situation. You made a choice to not be involved in something, to turn your boat around and motorboat the other way to save a ground. Uh, you removed yourself from things that weren't making you happy. You removed yourself from things that weren't working for you, Geminis. So that's probably a confirmation for some of you. This message is for you. Uh, you've definitely left a situation and moved on to calmer waters. Clarify this fool card for me, please, and thank you so much. What do we need to know for Geminis with this fool? You weren't going to let things interfere with your happiness. Like, life is too short, darling. <laughs> Okay, this fool, we have the Knight of Cups. You took a chance. You went with your heart. You followed your heart. Uh, you decided to do what was best for you. Also, side note, emperors and empresses. 
<laughs> you may be having someone come forward with a message if you're single. Remember I said there's options, right? For those of you single, I said that when we first started. And uh, there could be some messages coming towards you. Some love offers. Some little Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> Remember those notes back in the day? Why is this such a nostalgic reading? <laughs> That's so funny. Like, check this box. Man, now you have cell phones. I don't even know what they do now. This is a time where you are gonna be extremely happy. If you, if you have not met somebody in your life who is of high value to you, they are coming in. We have the Empress and the Emperor, okay? Uh, <laughs> they're coming in soon. You are birthing this newness, this expansion coming in, okay? There's the Empress. Clarifying the Eight of Wands. This is happening now. You've had a lot of patience. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's finally knocking on your door, darling. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. What do we need to know for the Wheel of Fortune? Gemini's. I don't know that this reading could get any better. I really don't. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> I always say that, but it's so true. It's like the energy's so good. Oh. Oh my gosh, you've been a hard worker. You've been working nine to five. I've got to make a living. You're going to be shocked at this good news coming towards you. I don't think you're expecting this, this new opportunity that's coming with the tower card here. And um, there is this king of wands energy showing up here strong, confident, Aries, Leo, Sag energy showing up uh, to present itself. This could be you just feeling more confident as this wheel turns in your favor. This could be you exuding that light and that sun. And it could also be this person coming towards you. They definitely um, are an attractive individual who is really feeling you. So uh, let's get some final cards. I mean, I don't think I, there's really not a whole lot to say. I'll just summarize. You're gonna have a lot of options in front of you with business, also with love if you're looking for that or connections. You've been waiting a long time. You put in a whole lot of hard work um, to get to the level and to uh, take over the throne, darling, because you are the emperor and the empress, like I said. You are gonna be illuminating like the sun. You are gonna give, be giving birth. You're going to be helping people. The sun, what is that? Re regenerates, rejuvenates. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you get it. It illuminates. And so it, it allows for things to grow, for things to prosper. It also makes you in a better mood. The sun is just happiness. It's happiest card in the deck. You are going to be happy, darling, but you are also going to spread that light to other people. Uh, the fool, you took a chance. You took an opportunity. You bet on yourself. There could be some love messages coming in or some emotional offers coming in. I also feel like you've just been really emotionally available. Also, we have quick forward movement coming in. If you want a divine partnership, it is definitely here, darlings. The emperor and the empress. Are you kidding me? It's definitely showing up with this empress card here. Okay, and it's coming in hot. Coming in hot. Okay, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. It is going to take you, something's going to take you by surprise mid-August, Gems, having to do with this good information that's coming towards you. There can also be uh, somebody who's a suitor that's super attractive. I also feel like you're just going to be in this very confident energy because you are the sun, darling. Mm. All right. Let's get a final card and we will end it here, Leos. Or why did I say Leos? Gems. <laughs> they say Leos before, anyways, gems. Gems! I'm so obnoxious today, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. It's better than the alternative, let me tell you that. Okay, so all normally. That, that's like way too many, but what card came on top? I'm going to take it because this is a card you needed to see. I know you might not be able to see it, but it says congratulations and success, darling. You can't, you can't make this up. Can't make, that's why I told you to hit that subscribe button and be a part of the Side Vibe Tribe because it, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> the messages are for real. 
<laughs> for real, they are divine. <laughs> Congratulations, success is on the way, darlings. Gemini's, I don't lie, my energy doesn't lie, and my cards don't lie. You have success, you have graduated, you've been promoted, and you are taking over the throne, baby. Gems, congratulations, darling. Now subscribe. And definitely watch my other videos if they're here, 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 here. I don't know. But definitely, <laughs> don't forget to enter for the drawing. I'm sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles, the most fabulous day ahead.